Our story is about the two fairies and the cleaning factory. Written by Zanny Mathieu and illustrated by maaillustrations.com This is a wonderful story that weaves its magic in the child's imagination, even while imparting an invaluable lesson in oral health and hygiene. This is a story that the children will return to time and again for a fun bedtime read. Deep in the new forest, where no big people ever went, there was a tiny little magical village called the Orden Gardens. Here, three little tooth fairies named Incisor, Canine, and Mauler were busy at work in their factory. The three tooth fairies were all named after types of teeth. Incisor was tall and skinny with short pink hair. Canine was also tall with blue hair. And Mahler was the short, wise one with curly silver locks. All day long, the busy little fairies cleaned and shined the children's milk teeth they had collected during the night. The milk feet were used to make very useful things into Orden Gardens, like roads in the village and furnitures in the homes for the little fairies. One day, Incisor realized that the teeth coming into the cleaning factory were not as strong as they used to be. Oh dear, said Incisor. These teeth are fragile and brittle, with holes and black spots. They crumble as soon as I try to polish them with my cloth. Whatever are we to do? Yes, said Canine. I know exactly what's wrong. The children are beginning to eat far too many sweets and are not looking after their teeth at all. I know, we can fix it, said Mahler the wise one. She sounded quite excited by her grand idea. The three fairies looked at each other and waited while Mahler explained all. As usual, it was a fabulous idea. The three of them wasted no time at all and got to work straight away. That night, it was Canine's turn to fly off and collect all the milk teeth from under the sleeping children's pillow. Off she flew with a bag of coins, some white berry sandwiches for her lunch, and a pack of cards which the three fairies had spent all afternoon preparing. It was such a treat to leave the forest and see the city skyline, but it was a dangerous place for fairies. Canine had to make sure that the big people never saw her. She flew through the starry sky and saw the wonderful city fast asleep. Her first stop was a young boy named Junior. Earlier in the night, Junior and his mom had placed his milk tooth under the pillow. Mommy tucked Junior into bed and told him all about a tooth fairy who would leave some money in exchange for his tooth. She gave him a goodnight kiss and left him to fall asleep. By the time Canine arrived, Junior was fast asleep. She flew in through the top window that was ajar and glided quickly down to Junior's pillow. She perched beside him and braced herself in preparation for the task. Heave! She lifted the pillow and wedged herself between the pillow and the bed. She quickly grabbed the tooth and tossed it over to her backpack. She placed two coins and a very special card in exchange under the pillow and flew off into the night sky to find more milk teeth. In the morning, as soon as Junior woke up, he rummaged under the pillow to see if the tooth fairy had left any money for him. He was thrilled to find the coins, but looked blankly at the card he found in his hand. Mommy didn't mention anything about a card, he wondered. He read the card out aloud. The Tooth Fairy's Guide to Healthy Teeth First, eat healthy. Second, cut down on sugary sweets and drinks. Third, brush your teeth twice a day. Fourth, 
use of fluoride toothpaste. Fifth, visit the dentist regularly. Back in the village of Ordon Gardens, the fairies were very happy about the new information card they were giving to the children. Soon enough, the milk teeth coming into the factory were strong and healthy again. The end. Thank you for watching. If you would like to support Monkey Pants Vision to provide thousands of free children's books to young readers around the globe, please share their books with your friends and family for the success of this mission. Thank you! Click the subscribe button and bell notification for more videos.